should be here any time, right? Yeah. I think he has come. Mr. Shan, please come. Thank you for choosing Orange Bank for your Apple iPhone loan. I personally congratulate you on taking this huge risk for an iPhone. Can I see the documents you want to pledge for the loan? This won't be enough, Mr. Shan, for the loan amount you're asking. Uh -oh. Shan, you forgot the platinum ring. Please sign in the places marked X. Don't worry, Shan. Just think about the iPhone 11. Isn't it revolutionary? Oh, yeah. What all I have to do to own an iPhone? If you end up liking this video, make sure to smash that like button. That's all I request from you guys. I hope you'll do it. Showtime! A phone that has unmatched hype, clever. A phone that has the best software and hardware integration, ever. A phone that you don't buy looking at reviews, never. A phone that is always pricey, forever. At least in India. What's up guys, Techshan here back with another video. You guys know what this video is all about, so let's jump straight to it. Here you go, Apple's latest and greatest iPhone 11 and the 11 Pro Max. Apple launched three models this year, the iPhone 11, the 11 Pro and the 11 Pro Max. Pro and Pro Max are basically the same with different screen sizes and battery size. What I have here is the retail Indian unit, 64GB storage variant of the iPhone 11 and the 256GB model of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The Pro Max in silver color and the iPhone 11 in yellow. Let's unbox and take a closer look. First the iPhone 11. Wait, wait. Let's do both together. Cut open. Ooh la la, the iPhone itself. Let's get to it in a bit. Then the user manual, a SIM ejector tool, regulatory paperwork, Apple sticker for the fanboys, then a normal 5V charger for the iPhone 11 and an 18W fast charger for the Max Pro model. Looks like finally Papa Tim heard all the hues and cries. Haha. <laughs> then the wired ear pods with lightning connector and finally the USB to lightning connector cable in the iPhone 11 box and a Type-C to lightning connector cable in the Pro Max box. Well, well, here it is. As far as the Pro goes, I love the silver variant. Because, I don't know, it's more white. Seriously, I just love it. Over the gold, space grey and midnight colour it comes in. It's classy, milky, whatever. You have this nice frosted glass back instead of a glossy finish. However, as far as the iPhone 11 goes, you have a glossy finish. For me, the yellow colour in the 11 is more striking when compared to other colours. Stainless steel sides on the Pro and aluminum sides on the iPhone 11. Overall in-hand feel is good with both, but the Max is definitely not compact to use with one hand. Shan, exclusive take Shan comparison time. Well, if I have to say the Pro Max is in the size of a dairy milk silk bubbly 120 gram chocolate pack. Yup, crazy but true. Another exclusive Texan comparison. Moving on, we have the cameras. Well, this year the focus is more on the cameras. On the Pro variant, you get a 12 megapixel triple camera setup. You get wide, ultra wide, and a telephoto lens with that crazy bump. <clears throat> Same goes with the iPhone 11. Similar design, but this comes with the dual camera setup wide and ultra wide. Switching between them is seamless. Both the phones can shoot 4K at 60fps. 
also has a new auto night mode for low light photos. Make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram page, we'll be posting some sample photos very soon. Ok coming to the front you have the 6.5 inch OLED HDR display on the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the 6.1 inch liquid retina HD LCD display on the iPhone 11. Both look so good except the fact that the iPhone 11 has slightly thicker bezels. Good color reproduction, even though many might say 11 comes with a LCD display, well trust me, you gotta see this thing in person. It is definitely a very good display. Moving on, the front also houses tons of sensors for face unlock and the 12 megapixel selfie camera in that notch, which God only knows when Apple will make it a bit small. Cool thing is, front can also record 4K at 60fps. Audio is very good and the thing to note, earpiece also acts as front firing speakers. Nice! On the cellular connectivity, the Indian variant comes with dual SIM facility. However, one being physical SIM and the other is an eSIM. Do note that currently only Atel and Geo provide eSIM. Now coming to the performance, well both houses the world's fastest chip, the A13 Bionic bundled with iOS 13.1. It's insanely fast, fluid and as said before, the software and hardware integration is what makes the iPhone stand apart from Android. Let alone the pricing, that's a different topic. <laughs> On the battery, Apple usually doesn't reveal numbers on the capacity, still as per sources, the Pro Max has a large 3960mAh capacity battery and the iPhone 11 has a 3110mAh battery. Both can easily get you through a day. Overall, here is a quick sum up of the specifications. The Pro Max is gonna be my daily driver and the iPhone 11 is gonna be Super Street's daily driver. If you have any questions, do let us know in the comments and we will try to share our point of view. But there is one question I want to answer for folks already holding the previous generation, the XS Max and the XR. Should you upgrade? Well frankly, only if you want a better camera and better battery backup. If not, hold on to it. On the pricing, the iPhone Pro Max 256GB model is priced at Rs 1,23,900 and the iPhone 11 64GB model is priced at Rs 64,900. Yes, they are crazy expensive phones. And I really don't want to get in depth into the argument of overpriced blah blah, that's a different topic. Because frankly each one's needs are different and you end up paying for that. Apple has always projected itself as a super premium brand and the experience you get with the devices is unmatched. But yes, it sure does not justify the crazy pricing. Import taxes and few other things add to it. Anyways, that was a quick look at the latest iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, just smash that like button. New to TechShan, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon as I have awesome tech videos lined up for you all. We'll catch another exciting video. Until then.